So a convolution and algorithmic reverb walk into a bar, and the convolution reverb says... Nine months later, hybrid reverb is born. With the ability to mix both synthesized and sampled spaces, the possibilities are as endless as Josh's drone EP. Oh man, this is my favorite part! Anyways, there's a lot of confusion surrounding these two types of reverb, so let me explain it in the best way a modular mollusk can. Algorithmic reverb is the most common type of reverb, and you can think of it as a digital, synthesized space that your input gets processed through. Algorithmic reverb gives you a lot of control over the space, but can leave the output feeling digital and unrealistic. Convolution reverb often uses a real, sampled space to create a very realistic output. This is achieved through impulse response, using a short, loud sound to capture the reverb of a specific place. In short, algorithmic reverb is clean and digital, convolution reverb is messy and realistic, and hybrid reverb is both put together. Let me show you an example. Here, I have a very dry kalimba, so let's add some sauce. Two clicks and it's perfect. <laughs> Just kidding. We have four different settings for our processing. Right now, it's set to serial, which sends the convolution signal into the algorithmic signal and then to the output. Then we have parallel, which splits the signal between the two and puts them back together for the output. And then there's a setting for each individual type. Let's focus on convolution for now. I'm going to set the impulse response to bubbles LR because I love the little blips and bloops it layers on top of my input. Yeah, that's nice. Alright, now let's have a look at our algorithmic reverb. I'm going to set it to quartz. I don't know what it means, I just know it sounds nice. There's a bit more control over the algorithmic reverb, and I'd like a short decay and smaller size. Also, I'll cut back on the damping a bit to bring out the high end. There's also a freeze button to sustain the tail of your reverb. I'm not going to use it for this sound, but I'm sure the community will find some crazy uses for it. Now, let's reintroduce our convolution reverb. I'm going to select Parallel to retain the attack of our sound. I'll set the blend to favor the convolution, and open up the stereo image a bit. Then I'll head over to the EQ tab and bring out the fundamentals and sparkly high end. Here's where we started, and here's where we ended up. Thanks for watching.